Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Lords of the Fallen. This game has come out, I believe, last night, today, whatever. Doesn't matter. We're playing it. Uh, that's rather loud. Hold on a minute. Way to go, Ian, setting up all of this before you hit the record button. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I don't know much about this game, to tell you the complete truth. There we go. I don't know much about this game. I didn't play the very first one. I know that this is kind of like a, from what I understand, a continuation of the uh, first one, like thousand some odd years in the future. I don't know. It's a Soulsborne game. I normally try every single one of those. And I'm really hoping I like this one because it looks fantastic. Uh, it did crash on me a couple of times when I started up just for full warning out there, but I was able to fix it, obviously, as you can tell. Let's run into the settings real quick so you guys can see what I have set up. I have done vertical sync, obviously. If I need to change it to 60 frames a second, then I'm gonna do that. I turned off DLSS, I'll turn it on if I need to. Sounds really, really loud to me. I hope it's not terribly loud to you guys. I'll fix that if it is in the next episode or whatever. So yeah, graphics, I kept it on auto set. The only thing I turned off was motion blur and film grain because F both of those, no one likes it. And that's about it. I do have all the DLC. I did pre-order it. I literally just got off of work and I got home and I'm immediately recording because I want to get this out there. And uh, let's see what this game has to offer. I am going to try to play it with mouse and keyboard. I've never done that in one of these types of games. I've always wanted to, though. So... If I need to, I'll swap over to my controller, which I have in front of me. Already plug in if I need to. And uh, we, you know what? We've, I've been talking far too long. Two minutes worth of talking. F that. Let's get into the game. Ages pass. Distorting self-delusion into fate. With few obtaining the revelations they so desperately seek. Okay. In a conflict between the divine, are mortals mere pawns? Whether the flesh of gods or death itself, all will be consumed. Charming. For she must feed. Okay. Cool. That works. She hungry. Boris, forgive me. And steer this weapon of deliverance to a worthier servant than I. Is that my character that he just so luckily threw that uh, lantern on? Hey, let's go. Okay. Music is so damn loud. All right, character creation. Dark Crusader. This is also DLC character right here. A paladin of the Dark Crusader is an elite military order in service of the Church of Orion Radiance, spreading the teachings of the church and or is via whatever means necessary. Okay, cool. Hallowed Knight. Stalwart Knights, Loyal to Clerics. Okay, whatever. Not going to read that. Endurance. I wonder if that's health. 
No, Vitality's probably help. Warwolf? Damn, what a badass. What stat was Dark Crusader maxed out on? Endurance and Vitality? Okay. Partisan. Major Bloodborne vibes there. There's a chonky boy. Holy shit. Advanced class? What does that mean? That like harder to play or something? Pick at your own risk, condemned. Oh god, straight nine 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 nines. Can I get to see what these items are? No. So when do these stop being advanced class? So I'm I'm, I'm gonna assume these down here are all advanced classes. Do any of these other things change? Doesn't seem so. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to choose Dark Crusader just because it's a DLC. What is some of this stuff? I wish I could tell. Yeah, we can go Dark Crusader, just because. There we go. Y'all know me. I choose female characters most of the time. God damn, she is ugly as sin. I don't know how I like this choosing of a head. God damn. There we go. I want to be white as can be because I myself am white as can be. How do I close out of that? Zoom out a bit? No. Oh, right, whatever. Yeah, we'll just stick with that. I try not to spend too terribly long in uh, character creations. God damn, no. That's cool. I like that. Keep that. Eyes. Oh, here we go. We can do some more actual fine tuning, which I'm okay with. Yeah, them cheekbones need to be changed up a bit, that's for sure. Music is so damn dramatic. Eh, 
Yeah, let's just stick with the one. Works for me. I don't care. Oh! Conquer of a face there. Wait, what was that one? I like that. Okay, we'll keep it that one right there, number four. Mouth. Okay. Oh, wow, that changes everything drastically. Hello. Oh, God, flies are back. Hey, if you guys are new here, I am plagued with flies pretty much 24-7. They never leave me alone. Drives me effing nuts. Oh, yeah, we're gonna keep that. Ears, that works. Don't care. Um, fine tune? How can you fine tune this? I can't actually tell what that's changing. Yeah, whatever, that's fine. I don't care. Uh, yeah, body. Oh. Oh, go ahead. No. That works for me. Tattoos? Yeah, I don't care about that. Preview. Dark Crusader, yada yada, good to go. Let's get in the game. Let's do... Oh, I need to change my name. Here we go. Let's go. Please don't crash. Law. The latest receiver of his grace. Great potential dwells within you, doubtless, for you to be chosen thusly. And so does Aureus wisdom guide my hand in the bestowment of this subsequent boon. Your flesh has been made sacrosanct with the mark of the Dark Crusaders. Prove yourself worthy of this gift. Seek me in the bowels of the bridge. Our work is of the greatest import. Sure. Cool. All right. Oh. That mouse sensitivity is high as shit. I could change that. I knew it was going to be high. It's always high. Uh, gameplay, maybe? Here we go. Mouse sensitivity. Turn you down to about half. We'll try that. Apply that. It's better, that's for sure. Alright. I gotta turn it down just a little bit more. Gameplay. We'll go down 10 more. Okay, apply that change. We'll see how that works. Um... We'll run with the tutorials here in a minute. I need to change my face cam really quick. It's gonna freeze for a minute. There we go, there we go, okay. 
probably gonna want to move it to what about right let's say here maybe yeah for now that works I'll change it again if I need to but I don't want to because it's gonna do that to me all right so what do we have going on here I have been made sacrosaint didn't even know that was a word it's kind of cool and all right cool, let's go running nice and smooth so far I like that it looks good too Shit, okay. Uh, whoa. Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. It's number two. Okay. Okay. I already figured that out. Heavy attack, quick attack, heavy. Yeah, I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Hi, how you doing? Is the middle mouse button lock on? Yes, it is. I might turn down the sensitivity a bit more. We'll see. Oh, shit. Look at this. This is cool. Uh, must receive item... Enervated Vigor Skull? Oh, okay. Let's go see what that is. Let's have a look at this inventory. Encumbrance, medium, gotcha, gotcha. It's called emanating a faint amount of vigor. I'm gonna guess vigor is what they call souls in this game. Okay. Let's try with that later. Sanguinarix? I'm gonna guess that's your uh, Estus. Um, press to lock onto target. Z and X to move between targets. I'll probably have to change that. Oh, maybe not. Okay. They're like a dodge. Space bar? Yeah, space bar. Gotcha. Dude, that is so cool. How that looks. not while moving forward press v to sprint gotcha i'll probably change that too i'm gonna change some of this stuff over to my mouse for my side buttons and whatnot bro look at you while sprinting with v press f to jump Okay. Oh, fuck. I feel like you can't make that jump, not gonna lie to you. Maybe you can. Never mind. I'm dumb. What could I change that to? Hmm. 
While locked onto a target, dash quickly around the enemy, double tap if you can roll out of damage. Okay. Like the slot you want to modify with E and equip any available gear with E. Ammunition. Interesting, okay. Press 2 to select the ranged combat mode and press control to use the equipped long range weapon or sorcery catalyst. Let me see here. Fuck. There we go. Let me just see what the controllers controllers are here. I just wanted to see how the mouse and keyboard felt. These games, though, most of the time it's good to just use bows, crossbows, throwables, keep L2 pressed, stay in ranged mode, the quick access menu, okay. For a catalyst, keep left trigger pressed, stay in ranged mode, quick access menu, okay. Pretty much the same for both, gotcha. Everything is freaking out right now. What the shit? I'm gonna pause real quick. All right. Okay, so we're back. <laughs> I don't know if it's fixed or not, the issue I was just having. But wow, that was a lot that I was just dealing with right there. Oh my god. If what I think the issue was, I think it was my other controller. I'm using a different controller right now. And it's not freaking the fuck out. We're gonna keep going from here. So, what, I don't even know where the hell I was. Me. Because, yeah, it wasn't messing up on me while I was using mouse and keyboard, like, at all. But the second I picked up my controller and started messing around, it was like, nope, don't like you. Okay. Interesting. Ooh. We're going to be back to playing the game now. Holy shit, dude. All right, that's, uh... Well, that really irritates me. That that just happened like that. Okay, cool. 
So that thing is going nuts now. Obviously, it wants me to use it. Look at this thing. Oh, God, man. I am so irritated about that whole thing I just had to do. But we back. Looks good. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oops. Moths indicate points of interest in Umbral. Select your Umbral lamp with and raise it with left trigger to appear into Umbral. Okay. Uh, that's creepy as shit. Yeah, that sensitivity is a little... feels a little high on the controller. And, you know, ultimately, I might just go straight back to, uh... Oh, shit, no. I might go straight back to, uh, mouse and keyboard. We'll have to see. Dude, look at that. That's so cool. The gate disappears. Like a lamp, raise it, traverse on the accessible and umbral. Wow, look at that, that's cool. Wait, that was left bumper, right trigger. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Combinations. All attacks can be combined to create unique combos, including both melee and ranged attacks. Additionally, melee stances can be switched dynamically with Y to access a wide variety of attacks. Experiment with equipped, e equipping different melee and ranged weapons to create unique playstyles. Okay. Like a two-handed... Healing! The Sanguinarix is your primary healing tool and recharges automatically upon reviving. It can be accessed in the quick access items activating using X. Other consumables are found in your quick access items. Select one with 2-2 two -two and use it with X. Okay. see what some of these other things do. Heals over time. Okay. Restores mana over time. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Inflicts holy damage upon enemies while also healing allies. Okay, that's cool, I guess. Don't mind me, y'all. I'm just wasting shit. 
because you know, yeah, gross. You know, I thought having that sensitivity turned down would be okay. Kinda don't like it. Umbral rifting. Select your umbral lamp with well, to rifting by holding X to transition to umbral. Beware, as you can only exist in umbral at specific points. Okay. I'm gonna assume this is a specific point because it's obviously telling me. And you got it. I gotta do that right here. Oh shit. Press right six to lock onto them. Click your umbrella lamp, raise it with soul flying of target. Yeah, okay. Well, that's cool. Lock onto an enemy right. Uh, okay, select your umbral lamp, raise it with uh, our soul play. Okay, you got it. On enemy, his soul is exposed. Attack it to apply other, to apply wither damage. Attack a withered enemy to inflict a large amount of damage. Okay. Interesting. When an enemy is fully withered, press right bumper to tear out their soul with your umbral lamp. Dude, there's a lot here. Oh my god. Consumes a charge while soul playing environments. Elements does not. Okay. Uh, soul playing an enemy consumes a soul play charge. Select your umbral lamp with raise it with left trigger, then siphon enemies and blisters with right bumper to recover soul play charges. Select your umbral lamp. Okay, raise it with click. Okay. Siphon enemies and blisters with right bumper to recover soul play charges. This is gonna take a lot to get used to. Your health receives wither when entering umbral or performing certain actions with your umbral lamp. Withered health can be recovered by damaging enemies. However, you will lose it all instantly if you are struck. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Very interesting. Interesting indeed. Okay. Cool. Withered health can be recovered by damaging enemies.
frame rate takes kind of a hit right here, doesn't it? Let's see if I can fix that real quick. While falling, press right bumper, right trigger to perform a plunge attack. Additionally, you can lock on to for extra accuracy. Okay, cool. Yo, there's a lot to this. This is going to take some getting used to. When an enemy is soul flayed, they can be pushed in any direction with left stick. When an enemy is soul flayed. Understand that one. Oh my god, I keep hitting the wrong damn button that's gonna come back to haunt me. For long periods, an umbral make your presence increasingly known to its inhabitants. The longer you spend an umbral, the more dangerous beings who haunt you. Excuse me? What did you just say? Essentially, you, you you don't want to stay here for very long. Sure. Hi. How you doing? I don't have a charge, do I? So I can't use that. All right. Dude, this is a lot. This is going to take some time for me. But I'm digging the hell out of it so far. It's such a cool idea. So how do we get out of Umbral then? You're going to tell me how to do that? Oh, hi, bud. How you doing? Sure, sure. Oh, it opened up this right here for me. I got you. Use emergency FPGs with A to emerge from Umbral to transition to Axiom. Okay. Cool. Gotcha. Now we're back in the real world. see stuff. Dude, this is wild. Lol. That was fun. And here we are back here. All right, I can go through the door now. 
Dude, this game is wild. Abandoned red copes. Dude, I'm gonna miss so much shit. Vestiges mark places where previous lamp bearers fell. Once activated, these serve as points of revival should you die in Umbral. Uh, activates vestiges can be warped between use... Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. I got you. Upgrade character. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, boy, here we go. Let's do this. I go up in endurance. What does that do for me? Stamina, weight, gotcha. And defensive stuff, gotcha, gotcha. Vitality, health and weight, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Radiance, what's that? Mana, okay, gotcha. Inferno, also mana. Agility, gotcha, gotcha. And strength. Ah, right. oh, there's my main attack right there. So physical, plus 10 in that. Agility, plus 10 in that, gotcha, okay. Nothing in the middle goes up for these boys. How many points is being used? 102? Oh, I have a lot of points then to use. Look at that shit. Oh, wait, never mind. It takes a lot to level up. I see. We're gonna go up in endurance though. That takes a lot to level. Sure thing. I got gotcha. you. All right. Let me uh, do this really. Well, actually, hold on. I can do this, can't I? That gave me like next to nothing. Damn, not much at all. Okay, good. I got my stuff back because I rested. Gotcha. Gotta say, I don't understand the whole soul, whatever it is. So I use this one to charge it, and the other one to soul play. I'm going to have to figure that out more. What the shit? Tacitus' journal and the map of Mornstead. Let's go have a look. What is that? A desiccated umbral moth used to travel to the most recently used vestige in exchange for sacrifice of vigor. Gotcha, gotcha. What's, what's this one? Withered Ward. A tin of powder to provide increased defense. Okay, cool. Huh. A relic used to upgrade the sanguinary. Okay, cool. That's nice. Gotcha. Can I upgrade this like right now? A rosary given to you by Exeter Dunmire of the Dark Crusaders, an elite military order in service of the Church of Orion Radiance. The Dark Crusaders spread the teachings of the Church and the Radiant God Orius. A small inscription on the back of the ros rosary reads, Cleanse the Five Beacons. Okay, I got you. Makes sense. So I can't do anything with this. Okay. Interesting. I can't do anything with these. It just weird. Or maybe not from this menu. It maybe it has to be from a different menu. Equipment, maybe.
Hello. Gotcha. All right, whatever. Let's just let's just keep going. Whatever. This is a. Tr oh my God. Hello. Lock. Uh, block by holding left bumper, but beware. Blocking enemies attacks withers your health. Great. Strike enemies to restore your withered health. However, you will lose it all instantly if you are struck. Okay, cool. Parry. Oh, fucking parries. Parry attacks by pressing left bumper just before impact to receive less wither damage and deliver high posture damage to the enemy. An enemy posture is reduced by an attack each with its own posture damage. So experiment with all weapon and attack types. Once posture is depleted, stagger the enemy with a charged heavy attack and parry. Oh, charged heavy attack, a parry, or a kick. Deliver a grievous strike to a staggered enemy. Okay, cool. Oh, hi. How you doing, big guy? Are you, are you the one I'm going to test my... Uh, oh, hi. How you doing? Don't mind me. I missed the parry, guys. I missed the parry again, guys. It's okay, we're good. <laughs> Get out of here, bitch. Doing, friend. Oh, fuck me, dude. now <laughs> he wants the lamp give him the lamp i mean what harm could it do right i i, I can't beat him i didn't even know what the hell i was doing he's on a dragon a three-headed dragon vigor recovery after death if you perish in umbro all of your current vigor will be dropped at the spot where you die you can recover your dropped vigor with your umbral lamp by approaching it and pressing a but beware, some enemies might pick it up before. Oh, it's a blood blood mechanic. Thank you. I'll take that. It's mine. 
Okay. Cool. I got it back. Um. What just happened? See anything around here? Dude, what the shit? I, I guess let's go this way. Why, why not? Sure. Whatever. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Let's go. Destroy everything. Yes. All right. We're good. Here's there's only one way I can go. Over this way. So let's go over this way. No. I see an enemy over there. What is that? Game is a trip, yo. Hi. Okay. Umbral parasites. Umbral parasites can uh, symbiotically merge with other creatures, protecting them or gaining enhanced power. Select your umbral lamp. Okay. Siphon parasites with to destroy them. Gotcha. All right. <laughs> map of the abandoned red car. I have another map. What can I do with these maps, yo? I don't know what to do with the maps. Sometimes moths indicate that your path is axiom is blocked. There is something in the umbral realm. Select your umbral lamp. Okay. Wasn't there another thing over here though? Right this way. Once an umbral lock onto your environment, elements go play with bright trigger. Pave your way. Okay, cool. Well now. That is a trip right there, yo. Oh, hi. How you doing? I always wondered if there were others. You're probably thinking that lamp's just a tool to be used as you see fit. Take it lightly, and you'll find it's the other way around. Mark my words. Uh, okay, cool. Anything else to say? I don't know who you are, and I don't care. But since it seems a deer has you marked, making you a bigger threat to the rogue ourselves as both. Okay. I've defied the wills of gods and kings. If you know any kind of freedom, you'll do the same. Yep. Yeah, sure. Sounds fun. I've defied the w If you know any kind of... Are you the guy that came in there and, like, stopped that one dude? Yeah, you must be. Look at his arm. Look at this. Did 
I need 2100 to level up. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh. Uh, stigmas. What the fuck? Fragments of past events, often traumatic, which occur in Axiom, can appear in the Umbral Realm as stigmas. Select your Umbral Lamp, raise it with left trigger, and rift by holding X to transition to Umbral. Rift to Umbral first, then lock onto the stigmas using right select, select your Umbral Lamp, and soul play it with left trigger, plus right trigger to reveal a fragment of the past. There's a lot. <laughs> this is a lot. Oh my god. Okay, uh... Okay. Oh, hi, bud. These guys are just going to keep on coming because of my presence here. I tried to dodge. I couldn't. This game is going to take a lot. Oh, this game is going to take a whole lot. I've defied the wills of God's. All right, don't care anymore. Get it, okay. stick I got a pointy stick guys <laughs> game is a goddamn trip I am so confused on everything and I low-key love it If I would have just gone a little bit further, I could have emergency came out of that realm right here. Yeah. Oh, 
I can't soft play him because I don't have a charge. I got you. All right. What up? What up, dudes? Come on around this way. Come on around this way. There you are. Yeah, bitch. Ow, 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 ow. Primity. You can't throw that. Stop it. I should probably try parrying at some point. You know what I'm saying? So moths are going to appear around me, from what I understand, if there's something of interest to see around the area. Oh, God. Those are hands. You hear that walking around over here? What the fuck is that thing? Look at him. He looks threatening. They're like backstabs in this game. Oh, probably not. What up, dude? So I got that parry off, I do believe. I didn't get that parry off at all. I want to try parry, man. Come on now, let's go. Let's go. Get in here. There we go. That wasn't a parry, but, you know, it works. There we go. Uh, that was a parry. Good. I'm just not good at parrying, you know? Never have been, never will be in any of these games. Hello. Hallowed condemnation. Well, that's oh god. See them dodging skills? Yeah, buddy. Oh, you have one of those dudes around you, don't you? Not anymore, you don't, bitch. So now, let me go ahead and do that right there. I can do this right here. Can you do that right... Oh, hi, friend. How you doing? Yeah. Having fun up there? Hold on. I want to see this. Oh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably a waste. I don't really know how to get back ammunition, so, you know, that's a thing. Hi, friend. How you doing? Oh, that felt good. Oh, hello. Oh, it's one of those things. Okay. Creepy as balls. Look 
Okay, cool. Can I get in this door? Hi. Oh, hi. Fuck you! That's a thing. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a thing that just happened. Oh boy. And you're not gonna help me? Let's try to get all of our vigor back, because that was a lot. I had a lot. I had a whole lot. What up, y'all? Oh, hello. Yeah, get on over here. Yep, yeah, yeah, walk your happy asses over here. There you go. Fuck you. Okay then. Well. He has my, uh, vigor, doesn't he? Yep, he does. He absolutely does.
fucking hell! Well, while we're here, let's go look around, huh? That was intense. Hear that baby crying in the back there? Oh, I don't like it. Anything up here? Anything at all? Anything at all? Hello, hello, hello? Okay, whatever. I don't want to stay here for too long. I have an emergency way out right there. Dude, that dude was tough. Tough as shit. Hi, guys. Let's let's go ahead and just uh, you know come back to the real world. I have a lot of vigor. Of course, this area here is just uh, oh god, scared the shit out of me. This area is not much. It's just. What he was guarding. Okay, I got you. Did I actually miss something important though from here? In the other world? Hope not. Oh god damn it, right here. <laughs> yeah. Got one of those I can do. I got you. Can you do that from like right here? Hey, you can, cool. That's good to know, right? Hi, friend. Got kind of a bigger boy over there. Look at that. This is for healing, right? I can heal with this shit. Yeah, good. It's a bigger boy. Staggering and backstabbing. Deplete an enemy's posture dramatically by approaching them from the back and delivering a fully charged heavy attack. Okay. When an enemy's posture is depleted, they can be staggered by uh, with either a charge attack or a pair uh, charge attack, parry, or kick. Press right bumper near a staggered enemy to perform a grievous strike. Okay, that's cool. Shit. 
All these noises, man. What to upgrade? I wouldn't mind getting my attack up, I'm not even gonna lie. I would like to go back here. And not miss that item there. If I go into the other world and go over there... I can't walk on it right here, can I? Oh, I can! Hell yeah! Let's do it. Bro, that's sick! I hear your ass. Let's go have a look at some of the stuff I've been getting. No. Don't tell me that broken sword. Okay, no. I was, about, I was about to say, no way that does more damage. Nothing really does. Not that I could use it all anyway. Where do I tell whether or not I can use it? Because obviously it shows an X, so I can't. Interesting. Okay, why not? Ah, there we go. I see now. Requirements. Inferno. That took me way too long to find. Is 
there like a fat roll? I feel like I should get that. I think I'm fine. I can't wait for it to be like way further down the line and having enemies like that one dude just be the norm. You know that's gonna happen. You know it's coming. They're gonna be the norm here soon. I'm gonna have to learn how to actually handle them appropriately. I wonder what's behind that door. We'll find out eventually. Hi, how you doing? Oh, leave me alone. Yeah, okay, cool. What up, friend? Oh, it's one of you guys. How you doing? I haven't fought one of you yet. Uh, do you want to do this? Really? You want to do this right now? Damn that range! Want to kick? I can kick. Worry about this bitch up here. What up, dude? How you doing? How? Fuck you. So I, I have to throw shit to get this down. I got you. I got you. I want to rest, though. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to get my healing back. We're going to rest. I, I mean, I'm not going to fight the big boy down there again, so I'm okay with it. Let's stick with my easy healing. Oh, shit. What's down here? What the fuck? Wait a minute. Hold up. Hi. How are you doing? Oh, shit. Oh, you creepy as balls, dude. What up? That it? That's all that's over here? It's just that? Coming down here was not a waste. Coming down here was not a waste. Gotcha. All right. Tracking.
That baby screaming in the background freaks me the F out, okay? I'm gonna say it. Hello. That tracking on your attacks is cream, yo. get the big attack off there you know oh fuck me what's happening what is this shit oh no hold on what is this sure i suppose what fuck was that no stay away stay away where am i what's going on no stay away go away uh-uh you guys go away go away nobody wants you all right Upgrade. Works for me. Is there like an emergency way to get out of here? I don't want to stay in here for that long. Oh god, they're everywhere. Hi! Yeah, yeah. Isn't there an emergency way out down here? That is some nerve-wracking shit staying in Umbral. I'm just gonna sit. Oh, I got a cape. I got a cape! I got a cape, I got a cape. Another axe. I wonder, can I like break that stuff down, sell it, do anything like that? I'm curious. Uh, choo -choo -choo. My encumbrance is still at medium, but just barely. I'm okay with that. Inventory. Yeah, just same ass axe. I wonder if we're gonna eventually come up to like someone I can sell to. Ooh, there we go. Cape! Corrupted penitent cape. Okay, let's go to equipment, because it's probably where I have to equip it from, right? Maybe? Oh, I have a ring. When did I get a ring? An old tarnished ring increases maximum stamina and stamina regeneration rate. One of several identical rings worn by the small group of wealthy nobles and business people who co-owned the Sunless Skein Mine. Eventually operated both uh, heedlessly and ruthlessly. I think, cool. Equip that shit. And I'm heavy now. You know what that means? Take you off. I'd rather have that than the shield. Straight up. Yep. Okay. Ah, so you replace your chest piece with the cape. And I'm not going to do that. 146 damage mitigation compared to... Four, oh, Jesus Christ, yeah, that ain't even going to kind of happen. Get out of here with that shit. You can F off all you want. All righty, bitch. What? 
Let's go. All right, where am I at? If only I knew where I was going. Or necessar necessarily what the hell I was even, I mean, I'm even like doing. I don't really know exactly what I'm doing yet. That's going to be a shortcut later. You can definitely tell that. Okay. Ah, oh, I don't like water. I swear to God, if this poisons me. Oh, hi. Hello. Okay. What? Okay, yeah. I much want to bet if I go in there, it's going to kill me. <laughs> Let's just kill myself right away. Head on down. I don't trust you assholes whatsoever. Thank you. Ammunition satchel. Okay, cool, I suppose. Oh, hi. Pilgrim Hood. Wait, is this all that's down here? <laughs> that baby in the background, man, is freaking me the f out, dude. Hi, another one of you guys. How you doing? You want to do this? You want to go? You want to fight me? Yeah. Nice miss. Oh, fuck me, dude. Dude, going back and forth from Umbral to pretty much, I'm going to call it the real world. That is such a cool mechanic. Dude, there are so many ways for me to go right now, I don't even know. Holy shit. Hey, here's that shortcut I was telling you about. It's easy to tell when you're going to have a shortcut in one of these games. Easy to tell. handed for a while. I haven't really done much two-handed wise. Oh, 
Okay, I would have needed to go to the real world eventually anyway. I see. I see how it is. Okay. Ugh. Partner. Looks like you had a hard, hard go of it there, you know? Holy word, what is that? Holy ward, what was that? This? No. Uh, right here. A tin of powder providing increased defense against radiant magic. I could have figured that out. Countless people have traveled the more instead of the multitudes of the regions since the Rogar invasion. Okay. Satchel of assorted ammunition. Use. Hey, I got you. It's good I waste it now instead of waste it later, you know? Oh, I'd rather waste it now than waste it later. A clipping of unripe berries, which increases stamina regeneration. Okay. Oh, the weapon... I mean, the armor I have on right now is just so good. Holy crap. Alright, well... There's something in here. Oh, hi, friend. Actually, literally, friend. This is that same dude. But we're in an open area. I don't trust this. You carry the lamp long enough, and you'll see history repeat over and over. If you don't want to keep retreading the same ground yourself, should you fall, make use of this. Oh, sure. Your umbral lamp vibrates and emits a special color when close to an umbral flower bed. Okay. When positioned on an umbral flower bed, select your umbral lamp, raise it with left trigger, and hold Y to grow a vestige seedling. A vestige seedling serves as a point of revival should you die in umbral. Oh, be like right here then. Oh, cool. Yeah, dude, I like that. Go for more strength, baby. Let's do it. Obviously, as you can tell, I'm going to do a strength build. Strengthy boy. Actually, am, am I using a strength weapon? Yes, I, I am. Okay, good. Probably should have confirmed that before I decided I'm going to do a strength build. So we have these that we can go to, but we can also go to the other ones. I gotcha. I've given you more umbral guidance than I ever had. And I appreciate From you. From now on, find your own way and stay out of mine. This dude's a dick. I've given you more umbral guidance than I ever had. From now on, find your own way and stay out of mine. You, sir, are an asshole. That's cool as shit. Wow, that is so cool. Game is beautiful, man. fighting up here. Hi! Fuck you, dude. I'm about to die! 
guy. I thought I was about to die. <laughs> I, I used that healing a little prematurely there, but. The fuck are you? Hi. Okay. I don't like you. I don't like you. You're easy to beat. But I don't like you. You're creepy as shit. Cool. I have my bug zapper turned off right now, so the bugs are starting to crawl around my face. It's really driving me insane. Ooh, I gotta get them souls. I really thought I was dead right there. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Actually, I'm curious. Do we... Where do we replenish these bad boys at? Hold on. Let me look. Briarstone, Briarstone, Pear. Curious. Let me swap you over to that one. What is this? Salt's used to add holy damage to a weapon. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Interesting. So I can head over this way or I can head up that way. Let's see what's up here. I've seen enough of these games. No, you might jump down on me. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. I still don't trust anything right now. It does not open from this side. Don't, ain't that a bad a bitch? Is this going to injure me if I walk on it? Oh, yes, it is. Why did that fire there build up all the way? How much damage do you think it does? I'm not going to test it right now. I'm going to wait for it. We're, we're waiting for it to go all the way down. We're going to get that item. And if I get hit, then, you know, I mean, I'm going to find out. But I want that item. I'm going to get that item. It's my item. I deserve that item. I mean, you gotta have patience with these games sometimes, you know? Dark Souls has taught me anything. It's patience. Which I've only ever beaten Dark Souls 3. Actually, I've platinumed a bit. I've never beaten 1 or 2. That's weird. Let's go. That does a lot of damage really quickly too. Let me go ahead and just eat one of these bad boys. It's not going to heal me for as fast as the damage I'm doing, but it's fine. Okay, so I got a rusty cutter. Something tells me that's going to be like a dagger or something. Right here? Yep. I need Inferno to use it. It adds fire damage. That's cool. So 42 plus 3 and then plus fire damage. All right.
There's nothing on the other side, right? I'm gonna be second guessing myself so insanely much during this playthrough. Oh my god. Can I hit in there actually? Hold on. Oh, it doesn't seem like it. Item there, and an item here. Let me guess, fire salts adds fire damage. This is a boss fight if I've ever seen one. Holy shit. Okay, then let us. Well, man, they're giving me fire salts before it. We have an umbral flower bed right down there. I, it, mm, this is a boss fight. I only have 162 souls there, too. So let me come down here. Maybe here to you. Down here to you. Uh, fire, fire salts pop on you. Okay. Oh, boy. There it is. Knew it, knew it was coming. There it is. Oh, holy Aureus. By your radiance, grant me the strength to continue to endure these dark days. To lay bare Whoa. the path to salvation for my wayward brothers and sisters. So we may walk it together. And to strike down all those who would see our will defied. Even as our suffering continued, I honored my pledge of patience to the Exactor. And yet you now appear before me, a stranger. Bearing what was not yours to receive. A betrayal made flesh. And one I cannot brook. Oh my god. Girl. I don't have it. I can't do it. Oh boy. Oh my fucking god. Get the fuck out of here, yo! <laughs> it's gonna be a long one, y'all. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Dude, have you met this bitch who's up there a little ways? She, she rough, yo! Oh my god. Okay, then, let me... Uh, Jesus Christ. Wow. Uh, let me see here. Are you. Okay, temp powder providing increased defiant. Uh, love that. Absolutely. Yeah, gonna go and take that. You don't see me. Okay. Oh, 
say that. Uh, a poor substitute. I got this. I got. I, yeah, I got this. I can do this. I got this. Maybe. At least it's not a very far run. What was that? Not such yet. Not such yet. Not use any consumables yet either. Let's just... Let's just go for it.
damn. Okay then. Well, she is no joke. Phase two, man. Yeah. Wrong button. substitute. Holy shit, this bitch. I'm gonna try one or two more times, and then I'll beckon the dude. Kind of feel like I can get him, though, on my own.
Yeah, she has a lot of attacks. She has a lot of attacks. I'm gonna try it once more on my own and then I'll if, uh, I'll beckon the dude. I still feel like I can get him though on my own. Way to go, Ian. Christ. Just, 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 just kill me. Yeah, just. Oh my god. This is not counting. Doesn't count. A poor substitute. That was bad luck on that one from the start. Regardless of how this one goes, we'll beckon the guy next time. Oh, hope. Hi! I'm back, girl. gonna go down the center. It right there. Oh my god, dude. A poor substitute. Maybe if I try not dual wielding? Let's see. Maybe he pops in afterwards.
Oh, Stay he does. out of my way, lamp bearer. We are good. Wow. Okay, this is uh, pretty fucking hard right here. That was close. Poor substitute. A 
I really want to do this before they end the episode, man. I really want to finish. I really, 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 really want to do this. Greedy. I got so greedy right there. Focus time. Focus, 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 focus. Focus.
Not so sure the blood is supposed to look like that, but we're going with it. That's supposed to look like that? Bitch. Oh my god. Really quick. Oh my god, dude. Yeah. Oh shit, I have to be in that. Okay, that's fine. That was. That felt good. Holy crap. Get some more health up in this bitch. That was a really good fight. That was a really good fight. What did I get off of her? Umbral Eye of the Tread Eliard. Main socket effect plus one soul flay charge. Oh, that's cool. Okay, Umbral Scouring. Blade skin. A piece of skin taken from Samuel, a former Dark Crusader, executed for a dereliction of duty and brother of Pallid Isaac. Okay.
Wait, can I use these now? No. Oh, here we go. Here's where you can see the maps at. All right. Yo, that fight was sick. And I did it all by my lonesome. I didn't even have to summon. Honestly, it felt easier doing it by myself because I kept getting nicked by those wide attacks that she has when going after him it kept catching me off guard so it like effed me over real hard so for that fight I think I got some more of this I'll have to go back and watch my uh playback I think I got this too I wasn't really paying attention because I, uh, was tough. Yeah. Cool. Well, I'm going to actually go ahead and end the episode right here. This has been our first, our first run into Lords of the Fallen. And so far, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm absolutely digging it. Digging the environment. The boss fight was absolutely phenomenal. I it just it feels really good the mechanic of going between two different worlds umbral and here I really like that that's really cool and uh I guess we're gonna see how far this game takes me if you guys liked the episode then please hit the like button down below leave a comment tell me what you think about it and hit that subscribe if you guys like what I put out until next time though I hope you all have a wonderful day